woke up this morning and was still thinking about how Chevy brought the Sopranos to the Super Bowl. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand, Hit Miss of the Week. This week, we're plugging in and giving Chevrolet the hit for how it drove such a unique take on big game celebrity advertising. But Jeff, you might say, the Super Bowl was last week. Why are we still talking about this? Brands have been building to last weekend for months and months. So the week after, there's always a noticeable pause in major ad campaign or brand work being released. I've already outlined my top five Super Bowl ads. Check it out on fastcompany.com. But Chevy gets the hit here for delivering perhaps the biggest and maybe the best advertising surprise of the night. It was supposed to be the Crypto Bowl. And to some extent, it kind of was. But it was also arguably the EV Bowl, with a rush of electric vehicle ads from Chevy, Kia, BMW, General Motors, Nissan, and Polestar, as well as charging station brand Wallbox. Most of these tapped into big name celebrities to give their spots some Super Bowl shine. Schwarzenegger and Hayek for BMW, the Austin Powers reunion for GM, Eugene Levy turning into an action star for Nissan, but none packed the emotional punch of Chevy reshooting the iconic intro sequence to The Sopranos. In the series opening credits, we always saw Tony Soprano's drive from New York City out to Jersey, always in his black Chevy Suburban. This time, in an almost shot-for-shot -shot remake, it was Jamie Lynn Sigler as Meadow Soprano making that commute. A lollipop replaces the cigar, and Chevy's new Silverado EV replaced the 1999 Suburban. At the end, she hops out, plugs her truck in, and meets up with her little brother, AJ. Now, you could argue that this was Chevy just riding the coattails of a classic piece of pop culture that has nothing to do with the brand. What's next? Using the Succession intro for a luxury real estate app? or maybe Six Feet Under's intro to sell some life insurance? Or are we supposed to be happy that the kids of a brutal mob boss are now living green? Fair point. But in an age, and more specifically during a Super Bowl, in which brands' reliance on celebrity to break through the noise and get our attention is at an all-time high, this was a uniquely welcome approach. Why? Because the brand was actually present in that original intro. So this is a tie-in that makes sense. And the celebrity being tapped into here isn't so much Jamie Lynn Sigler, all due respect, but that intro, that song, that drive, and its place in pop culture. All that and, with its theme of next generation and the fact the brand's product was actually a part of the original intro, they stuck the landing of relating it back to the actual product without making it feel like a silly gimmick. What this spot and the reaction to it illustrates best is that if a brand is going to use a celebrity, it needs to go beyond the traditional spokesperson role to truly break through. There's a book called The Sonic Boom by Joel Beckerman and Tyler Gray that deep dives into how sound impacts our impressions and feelings toward brands. From the familiar opening notes of Netflix's bubba and the shh of HBO's static to getting just the right soundtrack song, Beckerman writes that quote, music helps an experience become a memory and later helps you recall those memories with just a few of the right notes. Here, Chevy was tapping into those memories and emotions that six seasons of The Sopranos have embedded in our brains. Among so many loud, brash, in-your-face Super Bowl ads and some cheeseball nostalgia shtick, <coughs> GM, <coughs> this one stood out as a cool, smooth, and completely unexpected cruise down memory lane. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. To see more weekly videos about the best and worst in brands and marketing, hit the like and subscribe button.